Hi, my name is James Bezik. I'm a senior developer advocate here at AWS Serverless. And today, I'm going to show you how to set up a provider integration with Amazon EventBridge. This session, I'll show you how to configure Zendesk and then show you a serverless application repo app that can perform sentiment analysis on Zendesk tickets. As your applications expand to include other systems beyond your immediate control, you need to pass information to and from those systems. Since you don't own the code, it can be hard to get that information. There are a couple of options available. If your SaaS provider supports it, you can use their API and use polling. With polling, you can trigger a Lambda function every minute, every five minutes, or 10 minutes to query a service. And then if there's new information, you can generate events based upon that. Now, this is OK if the data payload isn't too large, but generally, it's a last resort option. It creates unnecessary load on the SaaS provider and there's also a lag where there's stale data between it being available at the provider and your system knowing about it. You also have to manage the polling service. In the second case, if your SaaS provider supports it, you can use webhooks, and this is a much better choice. In this case, you provide the SaaS provider with an HTTP endpoint. They can post or get to that endpoint when new information is available. You can use a custom authorizer to validate the calls, and now the data you're receiving is much closer to real time. But webhooks also have some downsides. If your service goes down, the SaaS provider may not know about this and may not retry calling you, so you can lose information. Also, your HTTP endpoint is a public endpoint, so you have to secure that, and you may need to write custom authorizer logic. Often, the security model used here uses static secrets like API keys, and sometimes that's not the best approach. You have to manage this API, and depending on your implementation, it can be difficult to scale. Now there's a third option with Amazon EventBridge. We have a growing list of third-party services that directly connect with AWS. Traffic does not traverse the internet. It stays within the AWS network, which is inherently more secure than going on the internet. There's no infrastructure to manage, and it scales automatically. Now for SaaS application integration, there's a special resource called a partner event source. This is a logical connection between your SaaS provider and your AWS account without needing cross-account IAM roles and credentials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a provider. It's really easy. So first of all, go to zendesk.com and sign up for a new account or log in to an existing account if you have one. I have an existing account, so I'm going to log in there. Now, for this to work for Zendesk, you need to take part in the early access program, which you can do at this URL here. And if you click that form and then put your details in within a day or two, they'll provide access to this feature. Once you have access, go to your dashboard. And then what you'll do is click on the admin menu in the top right hand corner. And then click on admin center. Now from here, we'll click on the integrations icon on the left. And you'll see the events connector for Amazon EventBridge appears once you've been for that program. Now we'll just uh, click on Connect. Now you'll need your AWS account ID for this. So we'll go up to pick this up in the top right hand corner. I'm just going to cut and paste this from the menu and then paste that into the field and remove these hyphens. Select the region that you want to be using. I'm using Ohio and then click on Connect. And then from the Zendesk point of view, this is now connected and ready to send events to EventBridge. And if you click on EventBridge next, go to Event Buses, and you'll see the default event bus that you currently have. Then click on Partner Event Sources, where you can see Zendesk is ready to be set up, but it's currently in a pending state. So click on Associate with Event Bus. You can optionally add permissions for other AWS accounts or organizations, and then click on Associate. So now that's created, what we'll do is we'll go to the Rules section, and I'll select the new event bus. And we're going to create a new rule. I'll call this rule My Zendesk Tickets. And I'll select an event pattern. I want to use a predefined pattern by service and then select a service partner, scroll to the bottom and select Zendesk. 
And then for a target, I'm going to choose CloudWatch log groups and then create a new log group called Zendesk Event Bridge. And then click on Create. That rule has now been created successfully. Now over in Zendesk, if I now then add a new ticket, I'll just create a quick ticket here. This is a test ticket. Test ticket from James and then submit as new. I'll just close this there. And you can see this ticket has now been created. Now over in CloudWatch logs, you can then if you refresh and see this new log stream, you can see that it's got all these different events that have been sent from EventBridge. So in this next section, we're going to set up a SAR application that can analyze tickets for negative sentiment. So what we're going to do first is log into the Zendesk dashboard that you can see just here. And we're going to set up the API key needed for make, to make this work. So on the left-hand side, I'll click on the admin cog there. Then in the channels menu on the left, select API. Now you want to make sure in this section that token access is enabled under the settings tab, just on the right there, there's a button that you want to make sure that is enabled. Then click on the plus button there to create a token. Now let's call this event bridge app. Now this token will never be shown to you again, so make a copy of it and store it somewhere safely. So we'll copy that down and then click on Save. OK, so now we have our API token needed to create the SAR application. So over in the AWS Management Console, go to the Services dropdown and look for Serverless Application Repo. Once you get there, click on Available Applications, and then search for EventBridge. Just check the box under there. And you'll see the Automated Support Ticket Moderator. Just click that link. OK, so this application will listen to incoming tickets from Zendesk and see if they have a negative sentiment using AWS Comprehend. And if they're negative, it will then tag the ticket automatically and escalate it accordingly. What we need to do is provide the token key that we just copied there, and then the domain key, which is the subdomain of your Zendesk account plus dot Zendesk, so just that section there. I'll just copy that. And I'll paste that into that field. And then my username, which in my case is jbezik at amazon.com, but this is probably different for you. I check the box that says I acknowledge and then deploy. Now SAR applications use a SAM template under the covers to deploy all of the Lambda functions, IAM roles, and other services that they use. On the right-hand side, you'll see resources being created by the CloudFormation template that it generates. Towards the end, you'll start to see Create Complete appearing by the roles and the various functions. At the top, it will say the application has been deployed, so it's now ready. So the next step here is we have to now integrate this with EventBridge. So what we're going to do is just go to EventBridge in the Services dropdown. On the left-hand side, select the Rules option, and then select the Zendesk event bus we created, and then Create Rule. I'm going to call this My SAR App, then select the event pattern. Now, I could potentially use a predefined pattern here, but instead I'm going to be using the one provided by the app. So if I was using the service partner one, I'd simply select service partner Zendesk like this, and you'd see the event pattern appearing on the right-hand side. But instead, we're going to create a custom event pattern because this is a custom app. So I'm going to copy that account number away there and then paste it into the attribute at the top and then save. Now further down, I'm going to select step functions as the target, since this is used by the SAR application. And I'm going to have it create a new role for me automatically in IAM. And then I'll just create the role. And that's now been created successfully. So now if we go back to Zendesk, I'm going to create a negative ticket, a ticket with negative sentiment. The service is very bad. 
I did not enjoy my experience. That's pretty negative. And then click on submit. So we can see the ticket has now been created in Zendesk there. And if I open the ticket, what you can see if I change to events is that now there's a tag that's appeared called negative that was created by a web service, which was our SAR app. So it's really that fast. As soon as the ticket is created, the SAR app decided to analyze the ticket, found it was negative, and set the tags accordingly. So thanks for joining me for this quick walkthrough. As you can see, integrating Amazon EventBridge with Zendesk takes only a few minutes. And when you combine these events with your solutions, you can get really creative. To learn more, visit aws.amazon.com forward slash EventBridge. Happy coding.